Maccabicus Essentials. Maccabicus is CFI's proprietary software that makes financial analysts more productive and have better brand compliance when performing their work across Excel, PowerPoint, and Word. By using our Maccabicus add-in, you'll be faster, with better formatting, fewer errors, and all around a much stronger financial analyst. You can activate your free trial access to Maccabicus through your CFI student dashboard. Simply download the software, add it in to activate your free trial, and you'll be able to follow along in this course as we show you how much faster and more reliable you can be as a financial analyst. This is an incredibly exciting course with tons of tips and tricks and things to make you better at your job. We've got a lot to cover, so let's jump in and get going. All right, we're gonna start our Maccabicus demonstration in Excel. You can see on the ribbon here that I have the Maccabicus add-in installed. To install it yourself, simply go to the Maccabicus website, maccabicus.com, or access it through your CFI student dashboard where you can follow the prompts to download Maccabicus. Once you've downloaded the software, you simply go in Excel to File, Options, Add-ins, Com Add-ins, and you can make sure that you have Maccabicus Com Add-in checked here. Note that you may need to restart your computer to have Maccabicus show in Excel or PowerPoint or Word. And once you've done that, you'll see the ribbon here. And in the coming lessons, we're gonna explore all the features of the Maccabicus software together. The first place that we're gonna start in the ribbon here is under settings. You can access all of the features by clicking on icons in the ribbon, but we're gonna focus on using keyboard shortcuts wherever possible. So we're gonna bring up the shortcut manager. You can see on the right side of my screen now, all of the different actions that can be taken with different shortcuts or keystrokes. This is gonna be a big help for training purposes as you get used to using Macabicus to make you much faster and much more effective in Excel. Let's take a look at cycles and toggles on the second tab in the worksheet. This is a way of dramatically speeding up our formatting. Here we have some generic financial data, sales or revenue, and the percentage growth. If we wanted to format these to be currencies, in the normal Excel shortcuts, we'd have to go in here, go into number, currency, and play around with the actual formatting in terms of decimals, in terms of the symbol, and so on. But we can do it much more quickly using Macabacus. Let's look at how we would do a currency cycle, Control Shift 4. If I press Control Shift 4 once, I add dollar signs. Press, press it 4 again, I add a decimal. Again, I add two decimal points. Then I go back to no decimals. Control Shift 1 brings me back to a generic or general number cycle. That's Control Shift 1. So I can cycle through by pressing Control, control Shift 1 multiple times, 4 multiple times. Let's say I wanted now to create a multiple. Um, we wouldn't, of course, do that with revenue, but you can imagine a valuation ratio that was a multiple. The normal way in Excel would be to go in make a custom number with an X in it, and that's quite time consuming. In this case, all we have to do is press Control Shift 8. We can press it once, again and again, to cycle through certain formats within multiples, or just press Control Shift 1 to go back to a normal number. Now let's take a look at percentage growth. If I highlight this section, doing the normal Excel way, I could create a percentage, but then I would have to format it again to adjust for the number of decimal points and positioning. But with Macabacus, I simply look on the right and I see that the percentage cycle is Control Shift 5. So I'm going to press Control Shift and I just tap 5 multiple times to get these different formats. If I want to go back to a normal number, I press Control Shift 1. I'm holding down Control and Shift the whole time, by the way, and then just pressing 1 or tapping 4 or five, or whatever I want, 
to get to the format that I'm looking for. So it's very, very fast for formatting with cycles. Now let's take a look at how we can format numbers that are used as a heading or a divider or that we want to stand out in a different way from the regular financial data in our model. So timelines are something that we often want to highlight to clearly delineate the years in a financial model, for example. Let's look at how we can quickly format this. We're going to be focusing on some of these shortcuts down here for colors, alignment, borders, etc. So let's start with colors. Let's look at how we could change the font color here. That's simply control apostrophe. So by tapping apostrophe as I hold control, you can see that I can quickly toggle. Let's say we want a black background for now. Now let's fill it, control shift K. And we can customize all these, by the way, to be our corporate colors. But let's suppose we want to go with a dark blue and now we want to do a white font. We can very simply do that using these shortcuts here. And then later we can go in and customize those to be our exact brand colors. So we're always on brand. We're always perfectly formatted. So you can play around with the rest of these on your own, but you should be able to see now how quickly you can format your entire model. And in later lessons, we'll show you how to customize the colors and the fonts and everything to be your exact brand color.